Hey yo, so um, I want to talk about um, how there is no future um, for WWE. There, there really isn't. Um, point of this video, I'm basing it off of the results that happened at the pay per view, um, the Battleground pay per view last Sunday, um, and looking at the main event going into SummerSlam uh, this year. Um, <laughs> where do I begin with this? There is no future in WWE, and there will be no future in WWE as long as John Cena is still wrestling and still in, and is still in existence, and as long as WWE continues to cling and hold on to the past. Um, as long as WWE continues to cling and hold on to the past, and they do the same thing day in and day out with John Cena, there's no future for WWE. There are no future stars for WWE. They have stars, but they won't be future stars for WWE. Um, that's just plain and simple. I mean, to start off with the whole John Cena thing at, at Battleground, Kevin Owens should have won that match. He should have won. Um, I read something last weekend that Kevin Dunn, uh, who everyone knows is Vince's bitch, right-hand bitch lapdog, um, Kevin Dunn doesn't see um, the, the potential or the star power in Kevin Owens like Triple H does. And so um, when Kevin Owens beat John Cena in their first match, um, John Cena's um, merchandise sales began to drop. So in order to pick up on that, John Cena had to get a win at Money in the Bank and also be the one to end the feud um, at, at, at Battleground because his merchandise sales were beginning to drop just because Kevin Owens beat him in the first match. To me, that is the most asinine politicking bullshit I've ever seen. And we've seen a lot of politicking going on backstage behind you know WWE, but really that is horrible. You're, re you're willing to kill the potential and the momentum of a potential future star just so that you can boost up your merchandise sales for a guy who is really not going to hurt, a guy who's already made, a guy who's been on top for going over now a decade. You're willing to sacrifice a young future potential talent. I think that's horrible. I think that is, I, I think that, that, I think that's, that's that's wrong, and I think it 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 kills any potential future for for your company, for the WWE, and for Vince to allow that to happen. I think it's even worse. Um, and I think I think the, the 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 sad part about it as well is people from the outside looking in. When you have guys like Stone Cold Steve Austin, one of the greatest promo talkers, wrestlers of all time, um, probably the biggest babyface that company will ever have. When you have a guy like Stone Cold Steve Austin on his podcast saying and declaring that WWE did the right thing, that the right guy won in that feud, you know, by it being John Cena beating Kevin Owens at Battleground, I'm sorry, but no. I'm sorry, but no. I have to disagree with Stone Cold on that. I have to disagree. You cannot sit here and tell me, you know, it's one thing, you know, and, and people always use the excuse, well, you know, because of John Cena's stats, you know, it, it elevates that superstar by them, let him get that rough. Okay, but here's the thing. Um, you can get in the spotlight, you can work in a program, and you could you could you can get a rub from that superstar. That's all fine and dandy. And sometimes that does work for a superstar. But at the end of the day, this is wrestling. And at the end of the day, win or losses do count. Because by you being in the ring and working in the program with an established star. That shit only goes so far. You have to win some big matches. You have to win some big marquee matches against the veterans, against the seasonal stars. And sometimes winning one match out of a series of matches against that veteran ain't going to cut it. Sometimes you're going to have to steamroll right on through that veteran to make your claim. And that's why I feel like they would be missing the ball on with Kevin Owens. And I strongly disagree with Stone Cold Steve Austin in his opinion, saying that they made the right decision making Cena win that. 
it made no sense whatsoever. You mean to tell me out of all the superstars, top superstars John Cena has been infused with, from Batista to Edge, Randy Orton, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Brock Lesnar, The Rock, uh, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Sheamus, Alberto De Rio, all these big main event stars John Cena has conquered and he's defeated. You mean to tell me you cannot have one, not one superstar be the one to kick Cena in the ass and John Cena to finally say, out of all the guys I've beaten, this is the one person I've never been able to beat in my 10 year plus year career. I don't understand that with WWE. Um, and it looks like from what we saw last night on Raw, John Cena is going to get a world title match against Seth Rollins. He beat Seth Rollins last night. He made Seth Rollins tap. Um, I, I just, I, I don't understand it. I mean, you look over within the last, you look over in the last year, look at the superstar that John Cena has faced. Rusev, uh, Bray Wyatt, now Kevin Owens. John Cena's dominated all three. And for what? And what are all of them doing? Absolutely nothing. Um, Bray Wyatt, they tried to do something with him, but he just kind of floundered around. Uh, Rusev floundered around. And I'm afraid Kevin Owens, they don't know what they want to do with him. What's next for Kevin Owens? Because we're heading into SummerSlam. He has to have a big marquee match. I'm going into that pay-per-view. I don't know where the hell he goes if Cena goes up to Rollins for the WWE Championship. I just, I don't understand. And then on top of that, you know, you have, I, I love Undertaker to death. I do. I, I love Undertaker. I think he's the number one greatest character in wrestling history. He's one of my top 20 favorite wrestlers of all time. But my God, Undertaker versus Brock. Don't get me wrong, the whole break apart thing that was cool on Raw. I think that was one of the, the biggest, best breakaways or whatever that we've, we've seen in a while. But again, WWE holding on to their past, clinging on to their past. It's time for Undertaker to hang the boots up. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people probably still want to see the Sting Undertaker match. Uh, me, not so much. I mean, I still watch it, but at this at this late of the game, at both men's age, not something I really care to see too much. I did thought Undertaker was in better shape and had a pretty good match against uh, Bray Wyatt at this year's WrestleMania. But I mean. For him to quote unquote get his win back after he broke after the streak was broken, and for them to automatically get the main event at SummerSlam, to me that shows me the desperation of WWE. To me, that shows me that you know WWE are lacking star power, and people can and you know you have again these guys they're sipping the Kool Aid too much. These guys are working WWE the, the veterans because you have a guy like Booker T. Who will go and make and has made statements, made huge statements, saying, um, uh, 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 you know, these guys that complain about the John Cena and the, the Brock Lesnar's, they need to learn how to draw first. And once they learn how to draw, like these guys, then they can be in the main events of these big pay per views and so on and so forth. But here's the problem: nobody's giving these guys a fucking chance to get up to that next level. Nobody's giving these guys a fucking chance. To, 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 to sell out arenas and whatnot because you have everyone politicking and in the background because in the back saying, well, you can't really do what you want. They don't get too much creative freedom. They can't really be themselves. And you have assholes like Kevin Dunn who feels like, oh, John Cena's spot is being threatened. Let's not let the other guy get over on John Cena. I mean, really. And then when you do get a guy that they, a new fresh face that they put on top, like say a Seth Rollins, they book him like horse shit. So it's like, how can these young cats coming up be the next Cena, be the next Orton, be the next Brock Lesnar, sell out arenas if you keep constricting them to bullshit and you're using John Cena as a barrier for them not to, to never get over? I don't understand that logic. And then in, in, and even when you go to, to, to the WWE's video games, for instance, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin, but there's no reason that Stone Cold Steve Austin should be the, should be the front cover of the new game. Stone Cold has not wrestled in nearly 20, almost 20 years. You have Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, um, Cesaro, Randy Orton is still relevant. I mean, put some of these new fresh guys, these younger guys, 
I'm surprised they didn't put Seth Rollins. I mean, Seth Rollins has probably gotten the biggest push um, in terms of the newer crop of talent that we've had in a while. How come he's not on the front cover of the video game? Again, WWE not letting go of their, not really moving forward with the future because they're afraid to let go of their past. And I think that's the one thing that's really going to kill WWE in the long run because they keep relying on these past superstars, the big shows, the Kings, the Undertakers, the John Cena's, and we're not going to get anywhere. We're not going to get anywhere if you keep these guys can still be a draw minus Big Show and Kane, but you gotta you gotta move forward. You gotta move forward. Then I, I said it years ago that there needs to be a youth movement. The youth are there. I said it for years. WWE they need to push their talent. There needs to be a youth movement. They have the talent there, but they're really not starting the movement. They're really not pushing the youth movement. They really aren't. Um, it just turns into the same old shit. It, it, it really is. Um, so it, it's, it's deemed in my mind. I'm, I'm convinced as long as Undertaker can still wrestle once a year or twice a year, as long as John Cena is still has gas in the tank and he can go in the ring, there is no future for WWE. WWE is going to be the same old stuff all day, every day. That's point blank. Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, um, Kevin Owens, these guys are not going to go far. These guys are not going to get up to a certain degree, to a certain level, because WWE won't let them. That's 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 the image they put in my mind now, so I'm convinced of that. And if they're going to do that, I may just, I'm not going to say I'm going to stop watching WWE, but I may take a break and stop watching for a while, maybe even for a year or two, if this is the direction that they're going in, because... They're, they're not going for change. They're digressing. They're going right back to the same old stuff again. So, you guys want to know what you think about this video. I had to get this out there. Get my thoughts on it. I want to hear yours in the box below. Comment, subscribe. Peace.